Hello, Mr. Mo here. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about disk images. The reason that I'm talking about this is that I had to get Microsoft Office product for one of my classes and uh, it, it is not included in my office package so I had to download it from the school website. After I, I got it, I realized that the format of the file is um, ISO or ISO. Um, this means that the file is actually an image of a CD. In other words, uh, it's a copy of a CD made so that you can save it on your computer. And uh, in order to open it up, I do have to use some of these special softwares. Uh, today I'm going to introduce to you two of those that I use to open up these image files. First up, Demon Tools Lite. Uh, this is a free software that I can download from the website, but um, this free version does have limited abilities and uh, if you want to make full use of it, you do have to buy the, the full version. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up by double clicking it and uh, as you can see the icon is created at the bottom. And uh, again I double click it to open it up. and. Uh, this leads you into the mountain drive manager and uh, as you can see i right now i have no media in device f uh, the f drive is actually created by the software as a virtual cd drive on your computer it's not an actual physical uh cd drive that you have on your computer but uh it works the same so in order to mount this image onto the uh drive i'm going to click add file here and uh, I'll find the directory of the file which is on the desktop and uh, this puts the uh, directory of the file onto the image catalog this also makes it easier if you want to use it next time because all you have to do is open up uh, the mental slide and it's already in the catalog and uh, we do have to mount it or insert the uh, CD with quotation marks and insert this into the drive and uh, what do we we do is uh, we click mount here to mount it onto the F drive and as you can see uh, it is auto played and you can select set up to install Microsoft product onto in your computer uh, with demon tools light you're also able to burn images onto a disk uh, but you do have to install an extra addition to this called Astro Burn. And uh, uh, yeah, but without it, this still works the same as if you burn it onto the disks and use the disks. Uh, when you do want to use this is when you want to install, say, Windows onto the computer and uh, uh, operating systems do require you to burn them onto disks before installing them. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the other software, which is called Power ISO right here. Again, I open it up and uh, this is also a free version and uh, it does have limited abilities and I believe you you can't, uh, as it says, you, it can create or edit the image file greater than 300 megabytes. So if you want to deal with larger files, you do have to um, use other softwares or buy the full version and uh, again this image this software also created a virtual drive which is drive G and uh, with this software actually you can set the number of drives that you want you can ask it to create one up to 23 right here and uh, you can also dis disable this function when you're not using it so that your computer uh, looks less messy in the Explorer so right now I only have one of them which is drive G and uh, I am going to click mount image to drive G and uh, again I'm gonna select the uh, fi ISO file that I have right here and uh, this mounts it onto the drive and uh, all you have to do is go to your computer open up drive G and it, it is going to open up for you uh, it's pretty easy too. It's just the same. They work the same. Uh, 
but I do have the two softwares just in case I need to deal with uh, files larger than those. I would be using larger than 300 megabytes, which is um, the limit of Power ISO. I would be using Daemon Tool Slide in that case. However, Daemon Tool Slide is limited in many aspects because, um, as far as I know, Daemon Tool Slide does not support the file format of .daa. Um, and uh, Power ISO does support that format, and uh, which is why I got it. So, yeah, uh, this is pretty much it. Thanks a lot, guys, and uh, I am going to see you guys next time. Please download these softwares if you need them, and uh, please subscribe to my channel.